Welcome to this edition of Week in Review, along with uh, Dr. David Taylor, and next to me, Lee Aveling, and Sheila Hodgkins, and also uh, Ganem Hanna. We're here to uh, just to tell you what's going on here in the world of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network mm -hmm. and our phenomenal growth, uh, special uh, uh, information of the new building coming up. But mm -hmm. uh, let's start out uh, with uh, the Bible verse that uh, Sheila uh, has acquired. Sheila, what do you got? First John 12 says, but to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. Mm. Love that text. That's a special text, and uh, you got that from uh, Dr. David Taylor, didn't did. you? Mm. Now, Dr. Taylor, you were the uh, presenter, the special pastor mm. for the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network's program, Christian Connections, uh, that aired uh, the first time last Tuesday night. And uh, by the way, you're going to be able to uh, catch it uh, this afternoon if you missed it earlier. Um, tell us about that message, Power in the Word in 2021. What does that mean? The Word, the Bible, is still relevant today. Oh, you believe in that old Bible of what happened years ago? There's still power there in the word. In the Greek, I call it the locative case, the location, the place, in the word. And that word mm. became flesh. And then that word comes in us. We become new people. Then we have that impact on the world today. So the power in the word, the practical theology, living it, witnessing how we live, so vitally important. And that verse, how does it especially uh, weave into your message there? Well, it, it weaves in, she said, we become the children of God. You see, to all, we, we become the children of God. Some will say, translations of versions will say, the sons of God, but it's the children, Sheila, you, me, all of us. We become the children of God. You see, and this makes a difference. Now, there's something different about you. It was over in Paris, California, that uh, Elder Bushnell and I, Art, passed last year. Mm. And uh, a man came. We were working with the young people in that community. And we had about 75 of them who come out each morning. And the young man I talked to worked with me. He says, I don't know where they all came from. We didn't have that many kids in Paris, California. But they came out, and this man came up to me, says, may I bring my son? I said, surely. And when he left to go get his son, the kid say, you don't want his son. He got kicked out of Paris High School for drugs. And he brought him. He came in, collar, seat of his pants, put him right where I was standing. <laughs> I never forget his name. But that young man was changed at the end of the meeting. Yeah. A new life. The big market there in Little Paris said there's something happening down there. We said, why? He says, we don't have the theft. Mm. Groceries being missing. We mm. kept those kids into the word and exposed them to other Adventist youth skating rink mm. and took them for a drive up to Yosemite, took them up to Camp Cedar Falls. They had never seen this. Mm. The boy said, the sky is blue. He couldn't believe it, seeing all the smog, you know, <laughs> gray mm -hmm. skies and all. They just couldn't get over it. The Lord blessed us that summer yeah. there in Paris. And so it's just a practical, applied living it. That's why Christ was crucified. Yeah. So again, I mean, you know that power of the, of the word. I mean, it's kind of changed you. I thank God for that. You know, some people get changed in the night. And unfortunately, it took me years to make the change. But the beauty about it, God doesn't give up on anyone. Mm -hmm. He fell once, he fell twice. Uh, you, mm -hmm. take, you take the exam again and again and again. There, there's no dead end until you surrender. And surrender here is not a defeat, as we were talking about mm -hmm. in Christian Connections. Yeah. But it's, it's a freedom in Christ. And you mentioned Christian Connections. Uh, what's your take on just a few oh. seconds? It was an extremely powerful program, uh, a sermon I would not want to miss. 
matter of fact, I want to watch it again. I strongly encourage all of you to tune in and uh, be blessed by Dr. David Taylor's sermon. And not only the spoken message, but musical messages as well, Sheila. Yes, um, we have the talented Wong Curran family, um, four, four members of one family, so mm -hmm. talented. Mm -hmm. So they won't want to miss their beautiful mm -hmm. music. And I'm always so blessed by Dr. Taylor. Just being here, it's a blessing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Lee, yeah. LLBN has a Friday night worship service. Mm -hmm. You know our friend uh, Dan Smith, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, live at six. I'm, you've been involved with that program mm -hmm. many times. Tell us about it. LLBN worship, yes, it's every Friday night, and they also repeat it on Sabbath. You might want to check the local listings, mm -hmm. and you could replay it. Um, there's so many wonderful resources on LLBN TV. But um, it's very powerful. It's church brought to you. Friday night's a good way to start your Sabbath weekend. Yeah, and that's, that's a live program, mm -hmm. uh, on, just like Christian Connections, it's live on Tuesday nights. It's live at least once. <laughs> well, it's live every time you see it. There you go. Because <laughs> there's no practicing and rehearsing. Mm -hmm. We just invite you to take advantage of this mm -hmm. spiritual blessing. You know, Dan Smith has been involved with Loma Linda Broadcasting for a, a number of years, uh, I would dare say decades, uh, like, well, like you, mm -hmm. you're like for, from the be beginning, I presume. I never had any gray hair then. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. You're much better looking. True. Let's go back to Gannon. <laughs> Gannon? <laughs> what would you like to hear from me? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the mission of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Well, look, I, I can abbreviate this in very simple few words. LLBN is <laughs> a bouquet of television channels eagerly and hard at work to share the word of Jesus into the world. And uh, when we say into the world, that means no one around the world is limited from receiving us. Anyone who has a telephone or any consumer device, they can simply dial LLBN and watch us live or delayed 24-7. We are in the airways and we get on the grounds of many countries, Dr. Taylor. Yes, we are. And we get to the area where we get our scriptures from and the different cultures there. And LLBN in 2021, we now have places, broadcast those different countries. Our purpose, to witness. Our mission, let's go here now. Let's get it going. And we're growing, mm -hmm. moving. 25 years plus. Yeah. Look what the Lord has done. Mm -hmm. Because you pray, you accept his word, right. and it's real. And it's reaching the heart. The work is not done. There's a whole lot more to be done. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it is more urgent to do the work now than ever before. Would we ever have opportunities in this time and age for Christianity to continue sharing the words of God? Would that day end? Would that opportunity uh, diminish at one point or another? Not by our own doing, but just by the facts of the world that's changing and the way Satan is fighting God's creation in this world. So uh, it's a great opportunity, the way we continue to share the word of God reaching people with no intimidation in their mm. home, in their comfort, in their privacy. Mm. They can carefully listen and listen to us. Even if they're in the closet, they can open the phone and watch us on the phone. If they have a salad dish, they can get us on a dish. If they have a consumer device, they can watch us in their living room. What a great way to witness, Marlon. That is the greatest mission of LLBN. Our mission is really to spread the word of God into the world and let the Holy Spirit come in and do the work. All right. So, Lee. Yes. We were talking about, you know, your lengthy years of service uh, uh, along with me, side by side. Mm -hmm. I remember when we used to be over the uh, university church. Yes. In uh, Studio 102. 104. <laughs> 104, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's, a, that's a long... What is the value of this ministry over these decade, decades, and what makes it worth supporting? You know, <clears throat> I think it's different for everyone. And um, there's an important part of our Christian life where 
we get blessed when we give. Um, Jesus said it's more blessed to give than to receive. You know, and I think as we um, give of our time, give of our presence, um, share God's love, it can be contagious. Mm. And so my feeling is um, people who love God, it doesn't just stop with them. And by putting it on TV, it's contagious. Yeah, mm. and you're in the God business. Mm -hmm. You're a chaplain. Mm -hmm. you, know, you take care of a variety of uh, mm -hmm. conditions and, and people. And still, you know, when you're off, where do we find him? <laughs> you know, he's serving God here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Dr. Mm -hmm. Tate. <laughs> Loma Linda Broadcasting, what it does, and just showing again how the power of the gospel can change lives. And this is what we do, I think, expertly, because the Lord guides, directs us. It, so, oh, go ahead. It is also, in every sense, you can look at LLBN as a spiritual hospital, a healing mm -hmm. hospital for the brokenhearted, for the confused, mm -hmm. for the lost who are seeking. It is... It's being a hospital for me spiritually, Marlon. It's being a hospital to, for my wife, to my children, who grew up in this ministry. It's became a hospital, a spiritual hospital, to so many friends that I know from Orange County to San Diego, to all the way across the United States and parts of the world. Mm. So in every sense, you are doctors of the spirit. You are out there. What you do, the work you do, is to providing the true mm. medicine the healing medicine from Jesus Christ to mm -hmm. heal the soul. The body suffers without a, without a healthy soul, Marlon. So with uh, the spiritual hospital, uh, we have some growth. Oh, yes. uh, let's talk about uh, that growth and, and uh, what it means to the, the community and the world. Well, you know, Marlon, uh, <laughs> this is one ministry that there's high cost to wanting to do more because there's no pay, there's no overtime, it's zero pay. The more we grow, the more work for the rest of us. We, we took a step in faith to take this place 15 years ago. We built it and we mm. remodeled it so many times. And it took a lot of hard work, lots of weekends, and lots of evenings to get it done. And now we did it. We're doing it again. We're doing it again with a brand new building that's going to be about, by the time we're all done with the 16,000 square feet of high-end broadcast entity. It's a virtual worship place that reaches the world instantly is going to help multiply mm -hmm. our witnessing tools and programs into the world from this building and i tell you it comes with a lot of hard work but jesus worth every bit of it for what he has given us in light mm -hmm. we're turning back mm -hmm. through this building to share the light to beam the broadcast his message his words not our words his words into the world and I just pray there are people's lives being changed every time they turn in and watch. And if it's not, mm -hmm. they have a reason to come back and listen and learn and see, and see more and more every day. Uh, it's, it's, it's a flowing water. And this building that we're working on, it's urgent. There's urgent need to finish it. A lot of hard work, a lot of volunteer hours. We love to get it done and move on to produce programs and, and get back into broadcasting business. Uh, we really need your help, folks. Uh, you've been great supporters to this ministry. You stood by us for 25 years, but our work is not complete. Our efforts, our volunteering into this ministry depends on you. And uh, in the name of the Lord, I hope we finish this building soon and uh, we can reach out to more mm -hmm. souls around the world. Thank you for your support and uh, your commitment to this ministry. Well, we're almost all out of all time, but we have time for one letter who do you have harold from oklahoma says the sabbath church services you show are a blessing in our home i also arranged to put these ceremonies on our local city-owned tv channel as part of cable tv service to our town thank you llbn mm. thank you harold thank you a quick prayer for harold uh, would you lead us It'd be an honor <laughs> heavenly father we do you know what, we really don't know what your plans are, but we've been in wonder and awe watching them as this ministry has developed. And so, Lord, as we continue to serve, we pray that you both deepen and broaden this ministry to your glory. We ask in Jesus' name.
Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us for this edition of Week in Review. See you next time. Stay tuned for live church services.